Hey Bulls fans! Before we dive into the details of the latest Summer League game, we want to take a moment to ask you to support our channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing. Your engagement means the world to us and helps us bring you more exciting Bulls content. Now, let's get right into it. In their recent matchup against the Cleveland Cavaliers, the Chicago Bulls fought hard but unfortunately came up short, losing with a score of 87-83. to It wasn't the outcome we were hoping for, but hey, that's basketball for you. Sometimes, things just don't go your way when it matters most. Now, let's talk about the shooting performance. It wasn't exactly the Bulls' shining moment. In fact, it was their worst shooting display in the Summer League so far. They managed to sink only 7 out of 35 attempts from beyond the arc, which translates to a 20% success rate. This loss brings their record to 2-2, and it means they won't be making a playoff appearance in the Summer League this year. Tough break, but it's not the end of the world. Now, let's dig into some of the key takeaways from the game. First up, let's discuss Javon Freeman Liberty. He had been on fire in the previous games, but in this one, he cooled down a bit. Despite that, he still led the team in scoring with 18 points, while also contributing in rebounds, assists, and even a block. Although he struggled with his shooting, it's important to remember that even the best have off days. Next on our Summer League notebook is Dallin Terry. He showcased his versatility once again, making an impact in various aspects of the game. However, when it came to scoring efficiently, he seemed to hit a roadblock. Terry managed to put up 12 points, but his shooting percentages were a bit underwhelming. We're definitely looking forward to seeing him find his rhythm and become a consistent offensive threat. Last but not least, let's talk about Julian Phillips. Although his shooting numbers might not stand out on the box score, Phillips displayed great energy and hustle on the court. He made his presence felt defensively with rebounds, steals, and even a block. While it would have been nice to see him shoot better, his athleticism and defensive potential were definitely on full display. That wraps up our Summer League recap for this game, Bulls fans. Remember, it's all part of the learning process for these young players, and there's plenty of time for improvement. Stay tuned for more updates, analysis, and highlights as we continue to cover the Chicago Bulls journey. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel to support our work. Until next time, Go Bulls!